All right. So we have completed all the data input, general, tubulars, deviation survey, downhole equipment, artificial leaf, heat transfer, and completions. We can actually construct surface equipment, including source, flow line, and also our pump. But in this case, we just want to concentrate ourselves in constructing the well and then performing nodal analysis. All right. So now we can perform nodal analysis. We have been validated here. We go to nodal analysis. All right, our branch start will be our wellhead. Nodal point at the bottom hole. Here, the NA point, nodal analysis point. Branch N will be our reservoir, of course. And therefore, the outlet pressure is 3,800, which is our reservoir pressure. For inlet conditions, this represent our well condition. So the inflow comes from water injection well, which is our well. So don't be mistaken here. The inflow is not our reservoir, but our well. And the pressure here is actually our wellhead pressure. Let's say our wellhead pressure is 500. And the temperature is, of course, usually 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then we can run. All right, very interesting. This is our nodal analysis. Our operating point can be shown here. So our bottom hole injection pressure is 4,113 PSIA, and our injection rate is 7,528 stock tank barrel per day. All right, this blue curve is actually our inflow which represent our well performance, whereas this red line is our outflow, which represent our reservoir performance. All right, so please be careful here. Don't be mistaken. Usually for production well, the inflow will represent our reservoir and the outflow will represent well bore or tubing performance. Now it's actually an injection well, it's different. This inflow will represent our well performance, whereas the outflow will represent our reservoir performance, reservoir injectivity. All right. Interesting. This is our operating point. We can also now check the profile results. We start from the wellhead with wellhead pressure of 500 PSIA, go down to our bottom hole with bottom hole injection pressure of 4,113 PSIA and reservoir pressure is 3,800. And of course, because it's an injection well, the bottom hole injection pressure is higher than the reservoir pressure, so the injection can occur. All right, so this plot is also important. And now we can perform sensitivity analysis. Go to nodal analysis, we select Outflow sensitivity completion. We select liquid PI and PI here is not productivity index, but injectivity index. Our base case is 24 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. Let's say formation damage occur. So the PI is reduced down to 12. And let's say there is also stimulation so the injectivity index is increased up to 30 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. Now run. All right, interesting. Right? So now we have three outflows which represent our reservoir performance with different injectivity index. The red line is the outflow with PI of 12 with formation damage, let's say the green one is outflow with PI of 24, our base case, and the orange line is our outflow with productivity index or injectivity index of 30 stock tank barrel per day per PSI, all right? And you can also see that our outflow is actually a straight line, okay? Which reminds us of the reservoir IPR which is actually a straight line, right? So it confirms that the outflow in nodal analysis for injection well is 
actually our reservoir IPR. So that's one of the important thing that we can learn from injection well. All right, so we can recap, we can close. So in this video, we have learned about constructing a water injection well in PipeSim software. We have constructed this IPR, and then we have also learned about nodal analysis and sensitivity analysis for injection well. All right, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next PipeSim videos. Thank you.